the last of our tomatoes the other day, and now I'm going to be canning up diced tomatoes, so instead of having to buy them, I can just pull them right off my shelf. I'm going to just cut these up and put them all in a bowl. I have more tomatoes in my sink as well. So when I cut these up, I'm just going to put them in the bowl. I'm going to make a couple different batches when I can it up. I'm going to chop up a couple jalapenos and put them in some of the jars, and I'm going to put Italian seasoning in the other jars. So I'm going to get going on cutting these bad boys up. my 12 out jars I'm going to put the diced tomatoes in it does the tomatoes do not get cooked the reason that is is because you're gonna process it for 45 minutes and that's because the tomatoes are going in raw another thing too is you always want to be able to you want to pack down the jars so you can get as much tomatoes in the jar as possible See how much that's already gone down just by packing it. You want to give it about a quarter inch to a half an inch of headroom from the top of the drawer, which is here. So I usually pack all the way up to here. I'm not going to put any water or juice into this yet until I get done packing the rest of the tomatoes because there is going to be juice in the bottom of this bowl. So now I'm just going to continue. So I'm not going to just leave them as diced tomatoes as plain because I do a lot of chilies or I cook a lot. Um, I want to pre-season these. So two or three of these are going to have Italian seasoning and then two of them are going to have diced up jalapenos that I just picked out of the garden. So now I'm going to cut these bad boys up and then top the jars. So I'm actually going to do three jars with jalapenos in them, so I'm just going to top the jars. And the reason I'm topping it and I didn't mix it in is because I can always shake it once it's cooled and sealed. So that's not too big of a deal. Same thing with like the dried spices that you'll put in. It's still going to marry over time since it's going to end up sitting in your pantry for a little bit. So we'll do those. Let me grab my Italian seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half on the top of those. And same thing with this. Once I put the tomato juice and water to fill the jar, after it seals, I'm just going to shake them up and they'll be in my pantry. So now we're going to fill these up with some tomato juice from the pan and some water just to cover the tomatoes because you want them you don't want them to turn a funny color when they're sitting in your pantry all right so i don't have any more reserved water well reserved tomato juice and then tomatoes will release some of their juices when they start to boil 
with any canning, you always just want to make sure that you wipe the rims down just in case if there's anything on there, you want to make sure that, <clears throat> excuse me, that the seals properly seal the lids. Place these on. And ring them up. So you just want to make sure that they are hand tightened. And they're going to go in the hot water bath. And they're going to boil for 45 minutes. So let's get those in. Remember, every time you do a hot water bath, you always want to make sure that the water is above the lids. And because there's only five of the jars going in there, I don't want it to be at a, a rapid, rapid boil. I just want it to boil. So I'm going to turn it down to medium high heat and put the timer on for 45 minutes. See you guys in about 45 minutes. So I have taken this out of the hot water bath canner. These are the five 12 ounce jars of diced tomatoes I did. And this is super simple. You can do this at home. I'm sure you have almost everything pots included to do this. You might have to go out and buy the jars. But what's better than having your own fresh vegetables pulled off your pantry shelf when you cook a dinner. Have fun, guys.